Thank you all for tuning back into another salty sesh. So we're out here at Weedon Island again. And last couple times I've been out here, the bite was real good. So got a super clear day today. I mean, it is super clear, not a cloud in the sky. Uh, tide's going out right now. Should uh, slack up here in a little bit and then uh, start going the other direction. But man, the current is ripping through here. This might not be a bad area to post up at actually with all this moving water here. All right, so new spot. We, uh, we did a little exploring, didn't really find much to be honest with you, but we're gonna try here. And the tide's just starting to move in. I see some sheepy activity over here, so I'm thinking this could be the ticket. Now the tide's still a little slack, just started to come back in. We'll see if they're willing to, uh, to chew here right now. Oh, and they chewed all right. So just after this clip, I did catch a 18 inch sheepy in the super shallow water. It was beautifully clear out there and it would have been great footage had the GoPro not corrupted, which is an issue I've been running into lately. Um, not to bore you guys, but I did want to mention that just because I do reference it in the video. So that's what I'm talking about when I say 18 inch sheepy. So that way you're not like, what the hell is he talking about? Here we go. This, this was on a crab. This guy doesn't feel as big, or he just wasn't fighting. He'll probably be a keeper though. Oh, he's not hooked very well. And eh, he'll be close. Might be like 11. Oh, so this guy is a keeper. You know what, we'll keep them. We only got one in the bag right now. This will be good insurance. What's the hat? I think he heard what you said. He's under my seat, Sean. <laughs> He's under my seat. Uh, why does that always happen? <laughs> Remember it happened with the redfish? Oh God. All right, so sheepy number two, he's a little over 12, so not bad. Fillets will be kind of small on him, but I'm not gonna complain. Those are still good fillets. They can still make some good tacos or sandwich. All right, what we're using is these little fiddlers. So they're uh, doing work. I mean, I did get bit on uh, the shrimp a couple times, but just couldn't really make anything happen with it. These fiddlers are definitely proven, proven their worth. Shout out to uh, Sailor Mike's Bait and Tackle off Gandy. Awesome customer service over there. Always got the shrimp. And all these fish you guys see me catching on live bait. If I didn't catch it myself, I got it from Sailor Mike's. So huge kudos to those guys. But I'm going to see if I can find some reds in this little shadow line here. Yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to, bro. All right, yeah. All right, dude. All right, that's it. Yeah, so just quick update. It's uh, been kind of tough finding the bite. There is a ton of people out here today, so I think that kind of makes it extra challenging. These fish are super spooky. Um, Sean just hit me up and said he got a couple of trout, so we might move over there and uh, maybe see if we can get on some trout, too. I'm trying to fish this uh, shadow line here to see if maybe we can get some reds to pop up but kind of an interesting day. I wasn't expecting there to be so many people. Um, you know, I mean, it is a pretty popular spot, so I guess it shouldn't be that surprising, but I mean, it's a beautiful day. But I think also these uh, bluebird skies, these fish are extra finicky. So we just got the two sheepy in the bag so far. Um, hoping to, uh, to add to that. I mean, I'd like to at, le at least a couple more sheep's heads, so. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was such a good hit. So we did get ripped on this uh, shadow line. So put it right in that spot there. So that should be a good little zone there. Hopefully we don't miss them this time around. Oh, here we go. Yep, there we go, he's got it. Good fish. Oh, came off, dude. We've got to put that back out there. I'm not sure how he missed that one, but he had some weight to him for sure. Away from the public keeping their privacy. There we go. Got him. Oh, came off again, man. This is unbelievable. 
Here we go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What's up, bro? I'm heading out your way right now. Bro, I am getting crushed in this. Um... Right, I'm on the way right there. Bro, this channel sucks. These people rip the f through here. It's supposed to be idle so you know wake. People are ripping through this fucking place, bro. Yeah, it's like amateur hour out here, bro. Yeah. But, dude, so this. The, yeah, this shadow line is lit, bro. I keep getting ripped right. by. I'm pretty sure it's uh, reds. All right, cool. I'll be there in a sec. All right, see you here. Right, there we go. Finally. Feels like a decent red. Oh, that's not a bad red at all. Hopefully it doesn't spook everything over there. Beautiful red. So he'd probably be every bit of 20 inches or so. And that would be the first red of the day. And we were just losing these fish in the corner over and over. And that guy just popped right off the hook. But we were losing these guys left and right. Good feisty, feisty boy here. So this guy is gonna measure out to be about 20. Twenty-two. Twenty-two inch redfish. Dude, the shadow line right here, close to shore. Bro, this was like the fifth one that I missed. Like I missed four before this guy. So good, good twenty-two inch red there. We're gonna throw them in the bag. And then uh, add them to the uh, sheep's head that we got there. And that's our one keeper red for the day. Appreciate your sacrifice, buddy. Get him, Sean. Get him. Snook. snook nice. So Sh Sean just got a little snook there. <laughs> Let's go. Good stuff, dude. Cool, man. There it is, though, bro. You got two thirds of your slam. I think the red's gonna be the easy part. All right, so we're gonna do a spot change. We got the one red out of here, and then uh, we saw Sean catch that snook. So, and that's his. Uh, he got two thirds of his slam now. So he's got. He had that snook, and then he also had caught, I think, a little trout over at a different spot. So. I'm gonna catch up with him here in a minute. See if uh I'll see if we can find something else around here. Here we go. Oh we're up. Oh we're up. Another good sheep. Dude, he's got a little baby sheepy with him. Do you see that? Dude, he had a freaking baby. Another big boy sheep. Right in those mangroves, bro. He's another bruiser. Now the first one we had was 18. He's probably up there with him. sheep right there so he's gonna be up there probably I'm guessing 18 19 and about 17 so all right we'll get him bled out bagged up try to get some more oh oh Sean got a good one over there I heard that, dude. That's got to be like a snook or a red. What is that? 
Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Look like he'll be right there. 12, yeah. Oh, there you go. Sean got him. Ooh, dude. It's gotta be a red, right? That's your inshore slam, bro. Slam, baby. Sean just completed his inshore slam with the uh, with the little red. Oh, Sean's up. Another little rat. Sean with another red. Rinse, we're back on. This one's a red. And right in those, right in those mangroves. And this one's a little, little red fish. That's cool. Got a little slow there for a minute. Little single spotter. Just literally one spot on him. Cool. Okay. You don't get a lot of those guys. Keep throwing these mangroves here and see if we can maybe pull up another big sheepy. We've got two XL size sheepy in the uh, bag and then one kind of smallish size one. I'm going to keep her, keep her red too. So we're going to see if we can maybe get a couple more sheepy in here. Anything? Oh! I think it's a little red. Oh, a girl. A girl. Ooh, she cute. Oh, the last redfish I caught, dude, only had one spot on it. There was no spot on the other side. Yeah, it was a, just a one spotter and blank on the other side. Redfish going back in the water. Here we go. Oh, another good sheepy. That was gonna pull me right into the mangroves. That was gonna be another red. Another sheepster. Get in my net, boy. Get in my net, boy. All right, so there's gonna be another sheep. He's gonna be probably around 15, 16 ish. So they've all some pretty good ones out here today. So that is gonna be. I think our fourth, fourth sheep's in, fourth or fifth. So good looking boy right there. Gonna get the hook on out of him, bleed him out. And we'll probably change spots here in a little bit. It's kind of, kind of a little slow here aside from this guy. So this guy's dropping a milky deuce right now, bro. And it smells, dude, it smells odd. It smells like Captain D's seafood. All right, so this guy's a 15er. So 15er, go and bleed him on out. Dude, I swear to God, he's probably, I think he's sperming right now. Why would there be white creamy shit coming out of his butthole, bro? I don't, I don't want to get splashed, dude. I might get pregnant. I'll have to get a plan B, dude. Oh. Sean's up as we were packing, packing it up. What you got? A little red? A little sheep? Little sheepy McCreepy. Little creepy. Oh, he's a keeper, dude. He's dude, he's 12.75. I'm just gonna zip right over where you're catching your fish so you don't catch any more. I'm here to ruin your day, Sean. Alright guys, so we are gonna be taking it in. So it was a pretty decent day. Sean got his inshore slam. I got a few pretty nice sheepy. I mean an 18 incher, 17, 15. 12 and a half, a 22 inch redfish. Sean's got some sheepy that he's coming home with. So 
Can't complain. I mean, we did kind of have to work for it there for the uh, first couple hours, um, but we had to kind of battle through a slack tide too. Um, but yeah, man, Weedon Island, it's the uh, place to be, you know, especially winter time. Uh, these low tides, I mean, these fish hunker into these uh, deeper holes and then plenty of mangroves to hit up, you know, whenever the uh, tide does come in. So we're going to boogie out of here. I do appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.